Ah. The Waters, Troubadour, and then uh, we got some more uh, shows coming up pretty soon, so we'll be playing a lot, so come and check us out. We'll be at the Troubadour on October 29th, and the Waters October 15th with Holy Soldier. Now, uh, a lot of songs really impressed me. Uh, Back to You is a great song, and I know that was on your demo tape. It's very impressive, especially live. And then you did a song which just knocked my socks off tonight, and that was a song called Pretender. How long have you guys been doing that song? About six months. Yeah, I, it's a great tune, and who was responsible for that one? It just sort of fell into place. Steve had a guitar riff, and usually what we'll do is, I mean, he starts everything with a riff, and then we put it together musically, and I go home, and write some lyrics, come back and try it. But this was different because Steve was playing this part, and I just started singing something that just popped into my head, and the song just came together in the studio right there on the spot. It was real spontaneous. Well, it's a really, it's a beautiful song, and it builds, and it climaxes, and it really rocks. Uh, there's a lot of dynamics within all your material, but that song especially, I think, is like the signature Cry Wolf tune. It just has all the components that really make up Cry Wolf. Do you see it as that? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got it. It's got everything. It's from the heart. So can we expect you guys to get back in the studio, maybe uh, doing a couple of more tunes at this point? Because uh, you've given me your demo tape, and like I said, it was very, very impressive. But uh, I know there's a lot of material that wasn't on the tape that's equally as good. Can uh, we expect me, maybe you guys get back in the studio and hammer out some more tunes? Soon. Um, we're really hoping there's a record label out there who wants to pay for it. But if, <laughs> we have to do it ourselves. if, if maybe not, we're going to we're gonna handle it ourselves. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, on, all, all you record companies out there, this is one man. band to check out because uh, they don't get too much get better than this, up. right? <laughs> Come on, get so, so uh, you know, it, for people that aren't familiar with Cry Wolf, if you had to say something that really separates you guys from the pack, what would that be, in your opinion, Steve? It would be, uh, we mean it from here. Everything we do is right from here. Honestly, Gut level. Yeah, from here. And Steve, Entertainment and, musicianship. And Timmy, what, what would you say? What, what really <laughs> separates Cry Wolf from the rest of the pack? Well, a lot of people have told us that we're a lot better live than we are on tape, and uh, that's, to me, a rare commodity. Um, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of bands that do that for me, and I think that that might be a different thing with us. Especially when your tape is so impressive to start with. That's quite a compliment. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Well, I mean, we got to well, get you in here. <laughs> I know. It's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I, th I think that we're really an honest band because uh, we are, we, you know, we do whatever we do, and, you know, a lot of bands come and go, and, and when something's popular like Poison, everybody goes to be a Poison. Sure. Guns N' Roses, everybody goes to be Guns N' Roses. We've never changed. We've gotten better at what we do, yeah. but we've never gone to, to be any, you know, in any particular group, any particular cliche or anything. Well, you definitely got, you guys definitely have your own style, and that's apparent, and it's really good to see a band that, you know, Guns N' Roses is a great band, one of my oh, yeah. favorite bands. Oh, yeah, Poison right. is a great band they're in their own right. right. But, but it's good when a band uh, on, the, uh, on the scene, it comes up, and they're uh, kind of unaffected by that. It, it, it's refreshing, because too many bands, whatever's hot at the time, they, they cop on. And, well, yeah, uh, see, that's what, yeah, that's, well, that's what, what, what they had to do to get what they're doing. When Poison came out, I'm not sure there was too many bands doing what they were doing at the time. Oh, Same with Guns N' Roses. Yeah, sure. So we're trying to maybe form our own thing, so maybe somebody will jump on our bandwagon when something happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah hopefully, 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 hopefully. We have to practice a little more, though. Hopefully you cry wolf. Yeah, because these guys are pretty tight, so if you want to compete on this level, you better have it together, you know? So we're hoping, you know, it's like a couple years ago, Poison was the model. This year's model is Guns N' Roses. We're kind of hoping Cry Wolf will be next year's model, you know? Well, you know, yeah. if you guys keep it up and uh, the yeah, record companies have any sort of intelligence, which is, you know, debatable, <laughs> yeah. but hey, hey, if they can get it together, uh, these... He said it, I didn't. <laughs> hey, I'm allowed to say it. I'm not looking for a record deal. But uh, this is one band, really, to watch out for because they're on the move. And I'll tell you, when one says cry wolf, they say, hey, you shouldn't cry wolf. But in this case, you better cry wolf. This is Danny Crash at Gazzari's with the members of Cry Wolf. Yeah. And I'll tell you, we just had an ass kick in time. So we'll see you on Rockin' in a Hard Place. So stay tuned. If we don't see you there, we'll see you at the clubs. All right, all right. Yeah. Ah!